trapping of the Olic have been excellent. Oh, 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 a massive pile up. The two finish will be the yellow jersey. It is going to be on the line. Marcel Kittel gets the victory. Oh, left it too late. He can now see the finishing line. The gap is there. It's all too late. But Bakerlands gets the victory. Green Edge are taking over control now. Well, I think they're setting up for Simon Gans, who's tucked in there at the moment as they open up for the line now. It hits the line. Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Remember the clock will stop on their fifth man. They turn the tables on the way back. They may just go outside of it. As they drive up towards the line, they've got five, six seconds, five seconds, four, three, they're sitting up as they hit the line. They have done it. This is the first battle of the war of three weeks of the Tour de France. Now this is Quintana. This could really put the cat amongst the pigeons. It's a Colombian Express. If he wins the day by 17 seconds, he'll win at the yellow jersey. And it looks to me as though Cadell Evans is cracked and Andy Sleck is cracked. Two of the team leaders. What a ride this has been by Richie Port. And now it is Chris Froome. He's not just riding to win the stage, he's riding to win the Tour de France.